All right then, welcome back to another AAR video how to make a video game tutorial. This part of the series will be focusing on programming only. I'll teach you some like 3D modeling and some game making software later, but for now it's just programming. All right, if you watched the last episode, I taught you how to make the Hello World program, which is pretty much useless. So now I'll be teaching you some actually useful stuff to do. All right then, so first up, just make a new Java file in JGrasp and just call it whatever you want. Sorry for my terrible typing skills. I have to hold up my mic and do this at the same time. All right, declare your class name, just public class, and then name it whatever, vertut. You can abbreviate if you want. Then here's the hard part you have to remember. You'll get used to it. It'll be pretty easy to remember after a while. Public static. void main then the parentheses capital string then the two symbols below the curly braces args and then another curly brace close it off with two more curly braces and then do a generate csd it should indent it all right now in java you do not only have to declare the variable name but you have to declare its variable types and there are several types i'll teach you all of them in this tutorial all right, the first type is int. If you type it incorrectly, it should show up purple, showing it's a reserved word. And an integer is basically any whole number. So it, it can't have any decimals in it. So just name it whatever you want, verinum. And then semicolon should declare it. If you want to set it to value, a single equal, and then just the value, semicolon. The second type is called a double. Double is basically numbers with decimals. In ints, you cannot have decimals at all, but in doubles, you can. So just declare its name, then set it equal to you know, a decimal, because you can, and close it off. Then the next one is not even a number. It's a character. So type in char, whoops, char, and then name the character you want it to be. Just say uh, maybe char1. Then to declare chars, you have to do single quotation any character and then close it off and it should glow up green semicolon those are some of the primitive primitive data types now some of the more complex data types like strings strings are basically any anything like a sentence or words within these quotation marks so like this is a string and so to declare a string do capital string and since it's not a primitive data type it won't show up in purple and then just name it, let's say sentence one equals, and then double quotations, and then blah, 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 whatever. And just as variables in algebra, you can add, divide, and do all kinds of mathematical operators with these things. All right, then the first thing you'll have to do is a system.out.println statement, which basically prints out something down here in the IO. All right, so first we can say print out var one. And it'll print out whatever is set there. So just compile it before you can see any changes. And there you go. And you can also do it for any other thing. So we can do it for like the double that I declared. Just print it out. And then let's try doing some mathematical operations. So I'll say variable one. Then just plus sign variable. And then just compile it. And let's see to come up with oh now this is scientific notation in Java sometimes if the number is too big it will bring up this little e thing and you're supposed to move the decimal up about in this case seven places so let's just try making that number smaller so uh, you guys can see what the addition looks like there you go so it added both those values together then what you can also do is I can say I can add strings together. Sentence one plus, let's say, char one. Let's see what happens. So at the end of the statement, there should be a y. There you go. All right, now let's try some more. Now, let's see. Let's come up with an, some more simple numbers in here. So let's say two and four. 
And down here, just type in, let's see, how about we divide them? So var1 divided by, which is the forward slash, then this variable, compile, and it should bring up 2. And it's 2.0 because doubles have decimals. If you were to do both integers, it wouldn't have that. And also plus, if they were both integers and you had a decimal answer as your quotient, then that would mean that it would just round up to the nearest whole number. So you, should ha you have to be careful about that. Then, for multiplication, just an asterisk, compile. There we go. Let's multiply. Then, subtracts, obviously, the subtraction sign. And there we go. All right, then. Thank you for watching this AAR video. In the next video, I might teach you how to get user input. And other than that, check out some of our other videos and consider subscribing. This has been an AAR video on HD. Thanks for watching.